I think we all grew to understand and know how tough love works. And I'm very happy. It, to it hear. doesn't always produce the greatest results and it doesn't always produce the worst results. But I think you must not discredit, I mean, in terms of what you would have said, uh, the importance of a football. If I deserve coffee, I deserve flowers, I deserve the sweets and that golden couch, let me sit on it. I'm working for that. It means I'm significant in my role in terms of that. And we must then always find a separation between the roles I need to play on the field and how I need to behave and articulate my behavior when I'm with you. It cannot be all round uh, discipline or tough love, which is why I said, I'm a rules of engagement are key uh, when we talk about the issue of relationship between an agent and a player. But I still say, my way or the highway, it needs a better definition, such as as much as in the context when you put it, it makes a lot of sense and one can resonate with the number of things that you are raising. From a father figure or Kuli Singan who wants to instill a particular level of discipline, a particular level of responsibility, we cannot shy away from that. We must understand it. But in a context in which it's put, if it's just a sentence and somebody reads quickly and walks past, it creates a problem. So, we must create that so maybe we need to sit. We need to sit with you and really, but uh, uh, you brainstorm how them highway or my way thing has to work in terms of this context because there's a danger. And another one, yes, <laughs> I, I, I can just expand more on what Uta <laughs> says. There's a situation when there was a platinum stars uh, that happened. That uh, one of your colleagues, I'm a players. They didn't care what was due to them. They are signing on fees. And I'm thinking my way or the highway. You see, there are ways where you put things and they sit differently in people's heads. There are players who came out who were not paid their signing on fees. An agent took the monies and it was under the pretext or the discussion that says it becomes cheaper if the money is paid into my account as an agent because I've got a business. Therefore, you are paying corporate tax, which becomes slightly more cheaper than when the money comes to you as a player because 45% of that money we know where it goes, but corporate tax is slightly cheaper than that. And the players would have paid that money to the agent. There's an agreement from the club for monies to go there. But when it was time for monies to be paid to the players, they probably would have gotten about 30% of that or 60%. When agent says, I have helped you, if you took it direct, you would have paid far more in taxes. As it is now, I've given you what you could have gotten or more than what you could have gotten if the money was paid direct to you. So there is no honesty in how they also conduct their business and make money. And these players feel it's okay because the agent, yeah, you know, it's his way or the highway. It's a agent, yeah, me because he's looking after me and he has helped me save a bit of money. But when you took the money and you said, let it be paid into my account, it was for me to benefit more. But when it's time for me to get the fruits, then you telling me that, no, you've saved me more, so what you are giving me is actually what I deserve. I must not complain about something that I was going to lose. It becomes a bit of a problem. But, but also, that you know, I can see you leaning towards this highway or my way towards the financial side no, of it. No, no, I no. I think we, we need to then it's, say, it's, okay, it's let's, not, let's, let's put it into it's, all it's, it's financial, only, uh, emotional, okay. let's, social. So then we can deal, you know, it helps people because they're thinking, okay, this highway and my way is because you gave me 10 rand, it must come to me because, no. Okay, let's move, let, yeah. let, allow me then. Okay. If we're going to move from the financial aspect, let's say we take it in a social way, social way, my way or the highway. Yeah. It simply means wrongdoing, I will not accept, then you go. It addresses the rules of engagement. But the vulnerability that has been expressed and demonstrated, which has been clearly visible, it's not only on the social aspect of things. The bigger dent that it creates is on a financial aspect, which is why my emphasis is on the financial aspect more than the social, because the social is very easy. It's a similar thing. But where there comes the financial aspect, that way it creates a problem, because you are a businessman in football. I'm a businessman. I must get all my gains while I play. How you said or how you insulted me yesterday is not going to affect me tomorrow on the financial aspect. We need finances to move and go on. Mm. You can say tough words that will build character within me. I'll grace it and take it. But if you take my money, I'm not going to recover that. So it's, it's on the basis 
of the financial challenges or the financial turn that I am more focused on, I'm leaning towards the financial aspect more than anything. Because any other one doesn't really matter. Yeah. You, I mean, if we look at it now, let's just check the issue. Who was managing Mul Rato Shabang at the height of his career? Yeah. I don't know, and I don't think I want to provide that answer. Well, I think that it's also important because if you've got like a, a top player like, like you know, um, Ace was, uh, Shabango, surely the, the, the name of the agent must bring in your head. So that tells you that something has, has gone so wrong there, including the agent. You can name any player that has been my stable. You can say who. They say the name is attached to the, to the agent. Why? Because the highway worked. If players don't realize that the only way you're going to do well in this game is either, firstly, you understand that there, there must be rules within the space that you're in. Because if you don't, I mean, all of us get SMS from players and WhatsApps every day, what they need, what they miss, what they so-and-so died. Some of them, their grandmother dies every week. They forget that they've told you last week and you still have to help them again. So, so but when they know that here checks and balances are in place, there's only one grandmother who's going to die. There won't be three, four, five. If there's two, there must be two. So I'm just saying that from the context of my statement, please, viewers and everybody else who heard it, they must understand. The only way you're going to get people doing, get, getting into the space where they become better people in life is if there must be rules of engagement. accountability. No, no, accountability first. Accountability, then engagement. engagement. I'm very strict on it. And I can tell you, my friends will tell you, I teach my players on also manners, you know. Um, as much as we work together, and, and I mean, working together to Tantantla is another thing, you know, someone works for another one. But for them to understand that it's a Sunday, 12 o'clock at night. If, unless your house is on fire, or your child is in a critical situation, or, or you need, then, then I'll be there. But if you have clapped your girlfriend, my friend, and you are being handcuffed, you must go own it. I will see you in the morning. It's as simple as that. Because the reason why, because also it's teaching them responsibility. Because then you become part of the GBV and you're encouraging it. But the minute they know that they can do this, my agent will be there already. I, I want to wake up when someone says, my child has been admitted. And because my phone is always on with, for, for my players to reach me anytime. Also, the responsibility that comes within the stable is once you, you are involved with someone, whatever the case might be, the rule is, I don't want to meet your girlfriend. Once you get engaged or married, I'm involved. Now I want to know her. Because as, as you know, this, these guys, are, yeah, they could be with this one today and tomorrow. So, so, but then once she introduced me to the fiance, that means when even the fiance is now got access to me, because now I'm a family to that, to that player. But that's also part of the teaching of players to understand that you, you have to teach them exactly how also the world operates. Not only them going to the pitch, coming out, you know, going out in the world and the whole world clap hands for them. Because also that stops. So I'm, I'm educating and preparing my players about that. And which is something that I must mention also. That part of this, which people are, are misinterpreting or missing as, as organizations, I'm teaching my players that one day the noise is going to stop. Now, the day you are being, like the day I sign you as a big player, then, or well, at the time you want to be, you're not a big player. At the time that I'm signing you, I'm preparing you for bigger and when it drops, and then become an ordinary member of the society, so that you can accept yourself first before the society accepts you. I mean, I'll give an example of the recent case of, um, I had an, an, an interesting conversation, and, and, and fortunately he called me when I was in a meeting with that, with that player, I was sitting with Happy Jello, where he said, I feel so happy that I've accepted that I'm not playing football anymore. I wake up every day, I take my kids to school. It's such a pleasure. And, and this is something that he was trying to tell me that he didn't realize when I told him that one day I'm going to be an ordinary member of the society. And now he appreciates that because he has accepted it. You must accept it. If you don't, you will forever want to be a player even at 50. And it, it's not possible. I mean, you're not. I still feel like a player, though, you know? I don't know. Well, of course, that's why you're rather <laughs> Ted. <laughs> you hear what he's That's saying, why you're rather Ted. I mean, you know, give players a call time at nine, they're rather Ted. It's okay. <laughs> No, but in, in all honesty, what, what he's raising is very important. And I've often said, when your days as a footballer comes to an end, you must start a song yourself. <laughs> you must back it up. You must sing the chorus. And you close the song all on your own. Yeah. There's nobody to back you up.
It's you facing life from the morning, midday to the evening. You are on your own. And until such a time that you prepare yourself for the next phase of your life, you are going to have challenges. And some agents do so much great work to such a point where I hate it. And I will tell you why, Ngesho Ganjalo. Today there are players that I'm very close to, who are 34, 35, who are nearing the end of their careers. They cannot buy a car merely by deciding that this is what I want, this is what I'm getting, and analyze their financial situation. They don't know how to even purchase a house, offer two pieces, how to sign a deal, even a cell phone contract, because everything is done for them. But the sad part sometimes is that the minute the whistle blows, you are on your own. You need to learn all those things. Now you've got so many responsibilities. You have money that's invested that you don't understand how it accumulates the interest or the profit as it were. You have houses that you don't know how long is the deal, how much am I paying or any other thing. It, we get naive to that point and it, it's not bad. We are well looked after. But when are we taking the responsibility as players? Because when I retire, if Unga touches, probably my not ring. Or if he does, he's busy handling issues of the current players that he's True. helping and ushering them. Because he has to usher those in. Man, just cut some Lulil. If I had 10, 15, 20 years with him, I should have taken something. He imparts knowledge, but I don't take it. I rely on him to a point when everything comes to an end. I don't know what to do. Yeah. This is when we start taking decisions that are not sound because we lack the person that was our voice, the person that calculated the money for us, the person that sit in meetings for us and spoke on our PR whilst we sat and said, he knows what I want best. But when he's gone, what then happens the next day? Yeah. Becomes a bit of a problem as well. So players need to take a serious responsibility about their lives and channel things the way they want to channel them. I mean, as a player, I, I need to challenge. Challenge Utachi as if he's managing me to say, this is what I want. I want to be, I want to demand the things from him. And he must then give it back because the more we, it's like a debate. You know, in recent days, people, or a dialogue, people run away from a dialogue. And the dialogue sometimes shapes us. We engage, and I come with a view that I held from yesterday, Meng Lal. Today, Uta Jez, what he says, it unlocks a certain level of my thinking capability. I live a different person because we had a dialogue about something. But for as long as we don't challenge the space we're in, we're going to find ourselves with the problems. I mean, the gender-based violence issue that is raising. As a player, I would hate it if I'm a player, because yeah. you want your agent here all the time. Yeah. But what message does it send? And that one, I totally agree with him. It simply means, no man, we are going to have connections. Yeah. He will call the cops, he will make sure I'm out immediately, and I have no problems. Then do I learn? No, I don't. But if I face the consequences of my actions, it means I come back a different person tomorrow. I have learned from that, and I know the next time I raise that hand, exactly what it means. It's the six, Jasmine. seven, eight, nine hours in jail, what yeah. Jasmine has said, and the responsibilities that I have in terms of these actions. So tough love is what we've spoken How's about. How's that for high, it's my necessary. way or highway? That's amazing. It's necessary. We are there. But, you know, We're getting there. We're getting close. Am I supporting my way or highway? <laughs> I, I would love We're not to. <laughs> I think we close But, but I Slowly. think, yes, in, in that context, I totally move with it to say we must own up. We need to be responsible players because we are fathers. You know, we are household figures. We are leaders. And we are preparing ourselves for the second phase of our lives because True whilst that. we play football, it's the first half of the game in Pilozetu. Immediately when you retire, you are then playing the second half. That's the most difficult because there is no one there with you. So shape your life. Take as best as you can. They are businessmen. You can learn you know, from them to say, how do I channel my things? But you must know how you channel your things.